good afternoon and it is a fairly nice July day, albeit kind of kind of very windy. Look at my hair, look at look at the state of my hair. It's kind of windy, but it's nice. So what I thought I'd do is come out for a little walk, take in some fresh air, some nature. Good times. Let's see what we can see. Despite it being kind of grey, there's still there's still some sunshine coming through the canopy up there. It's a pleasant day. It might not look like it. And the wind might be pretty damn prevalent, but it is a pleasant day. Ah! Just got I just got nettled or prickled by this. Ow! I'm okay, don't worry, I'm fine. Look, see the sunlight is filtering through. It is actually a very sunny day when it's not cloudy, if that makes if that makes sense. Look, there's the shadows galore. Hey. Oh look, if we pause for a moment and take a little look through these branches, we've got a horse situation going on. There's a black horse there. And he's got a little white friend somewhere. Hold on, let me try and get the little white friend. Look at him, he's majestic. Look, just just look through this gap here. The little white friend is remaining elusive. But we got him. We got him. He looks majestic. He, he could have he could have a horn on his head and be a unicorn. You should consider it. Look at that horse butt. No one needs that. Let's carry on. Oh my goodness! There's a third one there. This one's in some kind of I don't know, poncho, raincoat, horse condom. What is this? Why is he wearing that? It's a bit bit warm to be wearing that, Mr. Horse. A little bit warm. Nay, it's not, he said. Ha. Huh. So much green around, so much green, and then it's a pleasant sight to see these. I don't know what these are. But they're certainly not green, they're, they're, they're purpley pink and cheerful. I like them. We're going to call them purple bells. Pink bells. No way, that sounds wrong. It smells round here. Look how bright I've gone. Oh no. Oh no. Big puddle situation. But I think you. Yeah. Oh, we did it. We did it together guys. Good job. Good job. And for our next challenge, there is a downed tree across the path. Look at that. Nature is full. Nature is absolutely full of of adversities. And we're gonna overcome the adversities. Adversity overcome. I wonder if there's anything growing in the fields up there. Let's see if we can get through this uh this nettly path. I think we can. I believe in us. Oh, oh I can feel it scratching through my leg. Oh, get off. Get off me. Get off me. Ah. Oh. Such a lovely, wide open expanse. Look over there, that looks pretty ominous. Can you hear the wind as well? It's really windy. I'm gonna get blown away like Mary Poppins. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. I'm not feeling good about that. That looks like rain. A lot of rain. That looks like it's coming this away. So let's get a little, uh, let's get a jog on. That's enough of that, I'm not an athlete. Ooh. Oh, I just saw that there was a big hill to get back down onto the path that we were originally on, but I'm not gonna lie. This hill looks kinda steep and I might die while coming down it. Do I try it? Do I, do I risk it? I'm gonna risk it. Okay, here we go. Steady footed, like a mountain goat. Nailed that landing. Steps. 
or carry on or steps or carry on or steps or carry on we're gonna carry on by the way it looks to me like back here and over there as well back there you can't really see through the branches but I think this might have been like old railway bridge I don't know maybe there was a railway around here back in the day I feel like I should know this I've lived here since I was like five I feel like I should know if there was a railway that used to go back here I'm gonna find out I need to do some research I can't find any concrete evidence see this is where I'm where we are now we're in Royston but I can't find any concrete evidence of where the actual train track went for there to be a bridge hmm I'll have to research this further another day but it does look like a railway bridge right doesn't it you know that I'm right it does uh oh another downed tree another downed tree Ugh, I'm, I'm guessing it's because it's so windy Poor tree. Uh oh, looks like there was some sort of altercation here between something with feathers. By the looks of it, the feathered thing didn't, uh, it didn't come out of it too well. Wind in the east, mist coming in, like something is brewing, about to begin. Can't put my finger on what lies in store but I've got a feeling it's all happened before we've got a puddle in the way situation but luckily people take this track they go around the tree they avoid the puddled area look at that and we're through with unsoiled feces I'm gonna class that as a win of all the things that I didn't expect to see it was this, this Christmas tree type tree. What is it? What are these called? Why is there, it's not even like it's not been dumped here, like it's growing from the ground. Why is this? Why is this here? Why are you here? It's not Christmas. Hmm. Thistle. Ah, they really are sharp. I don't know what I expected. And now I can feel some little drops of rain perforating through the canopy up there. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up so I can get home. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're not already. And with that being said, I'm going to get gone. So I'll see you guys next time. And then just like that, the sun comes back out. Ah, weather.